few weeks ago I made apple fritters. Today we're turning this into potato fritters. It's similar to potato pancakes, but we're making this a lot differently. So I'm adding in one and one half cups of all-purpose flour. Okay. I'm adding in three teaspoons of baking powder. One. Fantastic. This time of the year to make different kinds of treats, like different kinds of fritters. I can call these potato fritters. I rather call them, it, it, it's, it's similar to potato pancakes, but we're going to, we're going to find out it's made a lot differently. I also got to grab two tablespoons of sugar. Just going to add a tablespoon of sugar, and you don't need that much sugar with your tablespoons. All right, now I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this together. I'm going to add in three fourths cup of milk, whole milk. Get this out of here. Beautiful fall day till we're getting close to peak season. Two eggs. I bought a brand new dishwasher today. I'm going to have it put in some time next week. We have a new addition coming to the family. Okay. Now I'm going to just take maybe just a tablespoon of oil and put it into the into my uh, batter dish. And we're going to mix this together. Mix, mix, and I add in the potatoes, and then we're going to have a fantastic lunch. It's very similar when I made apple fritters, except we're adding something else into it. Potatoes. Grate your potatoes, folks. Mix, mix, mix. Okay. Watch the oil, folks. It spits. I'm warning you. Okay, let the minutes until it's golden brown on both sides. You want to make sure the inside is done also. Here we have delicious, wonderful potato pancakes or fritters. Douse them with salt. It's delicious and yummy. It's been done by some countries. I'm great to have you subscribe to my YouTube channel.